Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Predator Collection Hunter Series Wave 2. So these are, I did do a review of the Wave 1 two weeks ago. So I heard these were out, went into my local Smiths, found them and thought I'll have to pick them up. But I will unbox them and we will take a good little look at them. But before I unbox them, as if you've looked at my other video, the boxes are going to be the exact same. So there's the thing which we'll take a closer look at. But the boxes of these are very nice uh, little designs. They are. So that uh, looks like it's the new Wave 3. Haven't got that one. I didn't see that one in there, which looks like it's just the original Predator, but not cloaked. But I did pick up these two. So I'll have to keep an eye out for the third one. I will. So, and then a little bit of a write-up on the back of them. It is, but they're pretty much the same. Very nicely uh, designed boxes. They are. But, you know, the exact same. And then they have a little write-up, which is the same write-up. But you have the uh, Predators in the box on the back. So, I will open up these and I will be right back. Right, so I've unboxed them. So, let's have a look. And to be honest, after I unboxed them, there's not really much more to say about these ones compared to the other ones in my other video. So this one is pretty much the same mould as the last Predator. The Predator 2 one on the last one. Very nicely detailed. A little bit more detailed, I think, like colour-wise than the other one. So as you can see straight off, we go with the mask. It's pretty much the same mask, but it's a different colour. It's more grey, and then you've got the black stripes up there. But it's got the same shoulder cannon and the same armour. Yeah, pretty much the same armour. Except for that looks a tiny bit smaller than what the other one is. Which I will bring the other one in to compare, compare, compare after I've shown a bit off of it. But yeah, then you get a little bit more colour on the neck. But there we do, with like more of a copper gold type thing and then a little bit on the medallion on the center but there it is pretty much the same uh loin cloth and all that down below it is a different color on the thing i do like the blue on this actually it's very nice very striking indeed the same wrist blades very nicely detailed they are it is feet are a little bit loose on this one but you know they're cheap things so i'm not really too bothered about that to be honest hopefully it'll keep up if it doesn't i might have to i might have to change them over go take it back change it but yeah very nicely detailed nice armor uh they're 25 point articulation so obviously the feet turn around you got the knees you got the um oh that's not good now is it it is this one but oh, it popped back in so i'm not i thought that was uh that would have been good if i've broken all that but yeah, the legs change. That seems a bit loose, to be honest. It doesn't... The leg doesn't seem to move that off that much. So I might have to get that replaced. Sorry, it's out of focus by there. But yeah, the leg seems to come off, pop off there. I might have to take this one back and get it replaced. I will. But the rest of it seems to be all right. The elbows and the... Uh, the hand get turns around and then shoulders. The head doesn't turn obviously all the way around because it hits the shoulder cannon. So you don't want to really bust that. If we have a look at the back of him, again, very nicely detailed. It is, like I said in my last video, a little bit of a sticker on that one. Let's take that off. Um, these are nice figures if you like to do a bit of custom make on them. I, I think you get a nice little bit of paint and you paint up the armour a little bit in a different colour on that and maybe spruce up the helmet a little bit on that and maybe the shoulder cannon. You can get some very cus nice nice custom made figures out of these. But it's a very nice figure. I do love the pattern but i got a feeling I will have to take this one back and get it replaced because the legs and that are a bit junky. So obviously it comes with the same two accessories as the last predator 2 one so you get the combo stick and the disc which does go in which i'll be say is a bit more better for this one they've literally colored in the um, holster for it this time they didn't on the other one which i did i think i complained about in the other one so that's a little bit better 
at least it's coloured and it's not the same colour as his skin. So that fits on nicely. And then the combo stick does go into his hand. Pretty uh, pretty nice for there. It is. The claws don't retract. So, but yeah, very nice figure. Pity for the legs being a bit uh, loose and coming off. But the other one seems to be a bit or better. So, thing. So, I'll do... I'll do a quick comparison with the other one. So if you look, it is pretty much the same thing. There's a thing about the armour, but I don't know whether that's been bent in or whatever. It looks a little bit different than all that. But it's smaller, like it's been melted a little bit. So yeah, I might have to take this back and get it replaced. It is. But it's pretty much the same figure, but a little bit more spruced up, let's say, with the paint than that. But you know, beautiful, beautiful body armour uh, art on it. So yeah. A very nice figure indeed. So if we put that one to one side. And then we'll get the last one out. Which is. The Falcon Predator. From Predators. So again. This one is pretty much the same body. Um, body mould. As the Berserker. It is. Same armour. Same loincloth. Same feet it looks like. Just a little bit of a different colour scheme. Obviously it is a different mask. Because they do all have this different masks in it. And the shoulder cannon is the same again. It's a little bit of a lighter colour on the armour and the helmet and the loincloth. It is beautiful. Uh, and the body paint's different as well. It's not like the Predator 2 one where the body paint is the same. This is different body paint it looks like. But yeah, very nice indeed. I do like the look of this one and all that. The only downside I have of this... One accessory. So he has a drone. Which I got a feeling goes in the hand like that. Which is pretty disappointing. Because I don't see it going on anything else. And it, it does. It won't. That comes off. But it won't fit on it. It's too small of a hole down the bottom. But yeah it's a bit disappointing. That's all it comes with him. And I would have liked him maybe if he was on his shoulder. You could. It was a little thing by there. And you could pop it on his shoulder by there. It is. Maybe you can glue it on maybe. But. Yeah, a little bit disappointed at that. But if we have a little closer look, it's not as... The, the armour is very nicely detailed. Oh, I forgot to say, the dreads are the same. But like I said, you could probably cut the dreads to make them look a bit better. But, yeah, nice little black paint for there. Unfortunately, they skimmed on it on the back. But there, if you can see, you see a bit of a thing. And they stop pretty much around by there. And they don't carry on with the thing but like i said these are excellent figures if you you can keep them like this they, they 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 look pretty they look very nice like this for what they are and the price you pay for them but these are very nice if you want to do some custom uh custom made figures and that so i might do that down the line and all that maybe i'll do a video if i do it and that but i've never done anything custom before so yeah, it will be a first time for me. But I will put these on a little bit of a display. And I'll hopefully put them next to the other one. To the other two. Or the other three. And we'll see what they look like. Oh, and just before we go. They do come with a backdrop. And the backdrop is a tiny bit different from the last one. It is. So it's pretty much like the same base. But the background's a bit like this. It's got a yellow. It's not red. But it does have things. And it's got a bit more leafage and uh, stuff all the way around so a very nice backdrop to have on these so i will display them and be right back right i put it up on a bit of a display um unfortunately with the new display unlike the older one which i will show you right now where if i can show you the back it has more of a square base the new ones have a little bit of a cutout for there so if you do use these you will have to have it leaning on something. Because if you have it on its own, uh, I don't think it'll stand up. They will fall over. But it looks very nice with that backdrop, i got to admit. They really do. It does let them... It does... I do probably prefer this backdrop to the other one. But obviously, I'll keep the other one for the older figures. But that is a very nice uh, display. And they're very nice. And I do recommend you buy them. It is. But so that's my real little review on Wave 2. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see more videos, I guess, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.